called these chopsticks that do my head in. Give me a knife and fork. Give me a knife and fork any day. Hey everyone, today I am visiting the K Minya restaurant set in the heart of the Mekong Delta mainly because I want to try some authentic Vietnamese food but then I'm going to take you for a little tour of the grounds of this nostalgic restaurant and if you're into your old Vietnam War movies then keep watching because the K Minya has got a little secret up its sleeve that not a lot of people know about. First salad to arrive is got all kinds of things going on in there. It's like uh, I don't really know what it is. But underneath you've got onions, salad, and looks like nuts. Uh, oh, little prawns. Oh, these are little prawns. Oh my god! Wow, I never guessed that. Let's see if we can hook one of these out with a. Um, using tools not very not very handy with these but we have a go anyway <laughs> that's it got the motherfucker mm. yeah little shrimps prawns skin on everything straight down the hatch Interesting taste. Food is being served. All kinds of interesting things going on here. Um, have a look at this. Can pan down on it. Got a little bowl of seafood. Well, it's not seafood, it's actually river fish. I've got a whole fish there. Some rice, some pork, and uh, yeah. All interesting stuff. I don't get stuck in. So basically that's a whole fish. Looks like a baby carp or something. I've done that. Head and all. Mm. Very bony. But really nice. Has to 
be expected. As with most river fish, very bony. And um, you've got to be careful with them, <laughs> them little bones. They get stuck in your throat, you know about it. It's not like a... Certain things get stuck in your throat, you can spit it out, but... And bones. Not good. And like a bit of a, a lamb dish going on here. To give it a little stir. It's actually on a heater. So it's getting cooked, but as you can see, some lamb in there, some leaves. I don't know what these leaves are. Some onions in there. And yeah, some garlic, some fresh herbs, some sauces, chili sauce, fish sauce, fresh chilies. Well, a little bit again. Lamb casserole sort of thing. Pretty much ready to go now. Well, I've got this little lamb thing going on here that's been cooking away for the last 10 minutes. If it's a lamb, some... I don't know what they are. I'll try them and tell you. I think it could be spinach. No, ain't spinach. I ain't got a clue what that is. Some kind of green leafy thing anyway. Try some of this lamb. Nice. A bit of chilli sauce in with it. Nice. And all in this lovely view, look at that. Beautiful view. The thing I like about this camera is it follows me around, see? I don't like that, it follows me. Like that, it follows me. I like it a lot. Anyway, back to the food. Mm. So yeah, some green spinachy stuff looking. Green leafy stuff. Ram, onion, flavors, ginger, chili. Um, some other things in there that I ain't got a clue. Onion. say all Asian food was the same would be far from the truth. I mean, this is just not anything like Thai food. Now, a little bit of audience participation here. I know what this is, but do you? And Vietnam's famous for it. It's in its raw state, but yeah, comments below. So got a pot of hot sauce going on there, some vegetables and some lovely, not seafood, but going to be fresh water um, fish, shrimps, prawns, because this is the Mekong and it's in the country. We don't have a beach here, so it's going to be fresh water soon. Fresh water fish, not seafood. So we've got all kinds of Fresh, sea, fresh, sea, fresh water fish going on here, some shrimps. I haven't got a clue what kind of fish it is. Um, some mushrooms, some carrots, some other things going on there. Could be uh, cucumber, I don't know. Any ideas, leave a comment below, please. Some noodles. And yeah, that's all going into this hot pot, basically with a sauce in it. Uh, and uh, cook, it, cook it fresh, as they say. So that's all getting chucked into the sauce, like so. All from the, all from the fresh river. All fresh fish, fresh river fish. That all goes in there like that. Shrimps in there as well, lovely jubbly. This does look like calamari to me, but got tentacles. I guess it must be a freshwater calamari. There is such a thing. 
give it a good little stir. Let that simmer away. Maybe chuck some vegetables in there as well, some mushrooms. Making my mouth water. So that's all gonna cook away for about another 15, 20 minutes, I should think. Yeah, food's a bit like a, um, it's not just to get your meal and stuff it down your throat sort of thing, it's uh, just make an event of it. You know, what would normally last an hour in the UK probably lasts about three hours here because you practically cook it at the table. All goes in their little pot and uh, have a little chat whilst it's cooking. Marvellous. Pot's done. All in there, all ready to uh, chuck down the hatch. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little try at this and see what it's like. Fish stew is ready. I've got myself some noodles in there. Some prawns. Still can't get my head around these chopsticks. It's just not, it's not normal for me. But you know, make the best of what you can. I don't want to use my fingers because it's a bit hot. The mushroom thing going on. Mm. I'll tell you what. Once all them ingredients get in that sauce sort of thing, they all flavour it. You don't want to cook it too long though, but just enough. God, these chopsticks are doing my head in. Give me a knife and fork. Give me a knife and fork any day. But I'm going to um, carry on trying. What's it called? Yeah. I'm sure that's calamari. I don't think you get calamari in fresh water. I could be wrong. But really nice. Sod it. Fingers full of prawns. Oh. You know what? I could live on prawns. I really could live on prawns. They've actually got cyanide in them. Yeah, it's true. Prawns have got cyanide in them. Very minimal amount. You'd actually need like a, a lorry full to have any effect on you. But, yeah, a bit of uh, useless information for you. Prawns do actually have cyanide. So I've peeled a little baby there, look. Um, uh, these are fresh water prawns. So I'm told. I just believe everything, you know. So it's, it's a lot easier. And um, yes, yeah, so I've got a little bit of fish there. Try a bit of that fish. If I can pick it up with these sticks. I've got to be honest, you know, I've never been much of a freshwater fish man. I do prefer my sea fish. It just seems to have a different flavour. I think it's the salt water or something, I don't know, more firm as well. But you know what? It's still good. I don't know what these little testicle things are. Sausage meat, I think. Some specification. Got a little mushroom. And there you have it. Vietnamese food. In the heart of Vietnam. Mekong Delta. Just don't get more Vietnamese than that, do you? Not only is the Kemenya renowned for its authentic Vietnamese food. It is also a nostalgia restaurant because set within its grounds are some of the original houses and props 
that were actually used as footage in the filming of some of those old Vietnam War movies. <laughs> 